Hey, what's happening, guys? So Liverpool look all set to appoint Schmatke as their new sporting director. In all honesty, I didn't see this one coming. The geezer is considered a bit of a nutter back home in Germany and is well known for a brash and abrasive outspoken style. Nevertheless, he has a plethora of experience within the game. Aside from making over 250 Bundesliga appearances as a goalkeeper for the likes of Freiburg, Leverkusen and Munchen Gladbach, he's worked as an under-19s manager, assistant coach, goalkeeping coach and finally a sporting director, a role he's occupied since 2001. He started off at Aschen, who at the time were 4 million euros in debt, which is a fair amount for a side languishing in the lower divisions and at risk of losing their license. Yet this fella came in and built a team that not only reached the German Cup final, but also got promoted to the Bundesliga, something which seemed nigh on impossible prior to his arrival. After seven years at the club, he departed for Hanover, who went on to have huge success both from a sporting as well as financial perspective during Schmatke's four seasons with them, finishing as high as fourth in the league and regularly competing in European competition. Their manager at the time even remarked that Schmatke knew every single player inside out from the first division all the way down to the fourth, which is truly staggering if there's even a shred of truth to it. Due to family commitments, Schmatke eventually asked for his contract to be terminated before heading to Cologne a couple of months later. Yet again, he stuck around for four years and helped them win promotion and become Bundesliga mainstays during his tenure. Some of the players he brought in across all these jobs include Verad Abisevic, Wout Weghorst, Didier Yakonen, Lars Stindl, Emmanuel Pogatetz, Anthony Modest, and Leandro Birincourt. As you can quite clearly see, they're not exactly household names, but individuals who have very much made their mark felt at otherwise unfancied clubs. Last but not least, Schmatke had most recently spent five years at Wolfsburg. Now, his time in charge there hasn't exactly been a rip-roaring success, but it's far from a disaster either. They were flirting with relegation prior to his arrival, but more often than not finish around 6th or 7th these days, which is a respectable return for a team who aren't the force they once used to be. However, he dropped a massive bollock when he sanctioned the loan and eventual sale of Victor Oshiman for 3.5 million euros to Belgium club Charleroi, who then sold him to Lille for 22 million euros only four weeks later, which is a huge black mark on his otherwise stellar CV. One recurring theme you may have noticed throughout Schmatke's career is that despite his questionable personality, he's always stuck around at clubs for numerous years before falling out with the board, manager, or both. So expect him to be at Anfield for around half a decade based on historical evidence. Klopp will undoubtedly be aware of this and and likely accept some of the so-called bad that will come with the good. Obviously, this will be the first time Schmatke has taken on a major role outside of German football, so it'll be interesting to see if he can translate his domestic success onto the continent. One thing I do find slightly curious is that Schmatke is accustomed to being the most powerful figure at every club he's been at and having the final say on all footballing matters. Needless to say, that quite simply won't be the case at Liverpool, and perhaps he'll have to learn how to work in the shadows like some of his Premier League counterparts in order to be successful moving forward, but I wouldn't bloody count on it at all honesty. There are however a few things which are almost a dead cert. First and foremost, Schmatke will maximize the value out of whatever budget he's assigned. He's done that wherever he's been at, and I do believe this is a sign Liverpool will yet again be under tight financial constraints in comparison to their counterparts in the division. Secondly, contrary to popular opinion, Schmatke isn't just a one-trick pony, and has constantly showcased the ability to tap into various different markets across the globe, from French and Spanish all the way to South Korean and American. So don't think for one second the Bundesliga is the only place you'll be shopping at. Lastly, expect to see a lot of loans particularly in the opposite direction of what you'll be hoping for as a supporter. Schmatke believes players on the fringes need to head out and play first team football in order to get a respectable fee for them a year or two down the line and doesn't like having bloated squads. So watch this space. Overall, it's vital Liverpool get this appointment right because it's in a position which has played a major part in supporting Jurgen Klopp's dynamic style of management. The hugely successful Michael Edwards left last summer and his successor Julian Ward has quickly followed suit thereafter. So a bit of stability is very much the need of the hour. Before I end, here's a quote from the man himself during a recent interview with German football magazine Kicker following his departure from Wolfsburg. I'm not as big an ass or dick as you may think. Make of that what you will, and I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Peace.